that I'm here and available for you. In fact, text is a really good way to reach me. If you have an issue, you can get out your pens if you'd like to. Um, my personal cell phone number is 901-650-8745, and you may text me, okay? And if you have an issue, I will help you. And if you need me to try to translate that into Spanish, I will, but it might take me about three minutes. So, um, But one of the reasons that I wanted to come and speak with you this evening, apart from the fact that, um, oh, I want to just break off a second. I used to be a school teacher. I used to teach kindergarten. And one of my former students that I haven't seen since she was in probably about fourth grade is here tonight. Katie Hazard, will you please raise, will you please wave? So. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she knew me as Miss Hummel. But, um, but the reason that I'm here this evening, what I wanted to express to you is that I think that there are several issues that are important to all of us. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the locally owned small business opportunities in front of us. And I think that our locally owned small business uh, policy is okay but it needs to move. It's not doing what we're wanting it to. Um, we're really not seeing the needle move on minority engagement. And so we've been studying it. In fact, Commission, uh, Chairman Harvey, who's here this night, has um, convened an ad hoc committee to look at the disparity between uh, minority businesses and how that's working and how we're how it's doing with government contracts and we made a some pretty good progress today and we're going to do a disparity study but the thing I want to address with you all is that the disparity study itself may not get us where we need to go um, the city of Memphis just had a disparity study done and guess what the actual numbers came out that there's no disparity but when I